It's Connie with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thank you for joining me for today's Two Minute Tuesday Tip. Hey, today we're going to be talking about aqua painters. Now, aqua painters, you would automatically assume you would put water in it, right? Well, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you um, the difference of using water versus rubbing alcohol in your aqua painter, and I'm going to show that to you on all the different types of white cardstock that Stampin' Up! has to offer. Now, why even bother with rubbing alcohol? Well, let me tell you, rubbing alcohol is going to dry much faster and actually have a different effect on the cardstock. I've got just a cutting plate here to keep my surface clean, and I've got just our Whisper White cardstock, just our basic cardstock. I've got a Berry Burst ink pad, and I just simply squoze the lid onto the top there. I'm gonna start with the rubbing alcohol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the barrel until a drop comes out. You can kind of see it there. You're gonna see it puddle up. I'm just gonna pick up that rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna give myself a nice little water or alcohol rub down here on my cardstock. There we go. Now, I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm going to come along and I'm gonna show you the exact same technique using water. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of water there just as I did um, with the rubbing alcohol. And now we're going to come in on our Whisper White cardstock and we're going to rub that on. Can you already see the difference? Okay, do you see we've got a little bit more splotchy here and this is a little bit smoother? Now, here I've done the same technique and this is on our thick Whisper White cardstock. Same effect, you can see. This is the one with the water. It's a little bit blotchy. You can see the cardstock actually warps more. Here's the one with the rubbing alcohol. Now I'm going to come in with some watercolor paper. So let me give this just a little squeeze here. Get some, I'm gonna use the water first. And here we go with rubbing alcohol. Now, I have to tell you when it comes to the watercolor paper, I actually prefer water. So that's pretty easy to remember. If it's watercolor paper, water is the way to go. Because I Now let's look at the technique on glossy cardstock. So here we go with the rubbing alcohol. You notice on glossy, the, the ink is really just going to sit there right on top. And now the water directly on glossy cardstock. I've let that sit for just a minute. You can see the alcohol really bled out on that glossy cardstock. Not really feeling the effect that I got there with the water. My last cardstock, this is our shimmer white. Here we go with rubbing alcohol. And here it is with water. So I'd have to say my conclusion here, I actually prefer the water on the shimmer white cardstock. So in conclusion, I think when it comes to water, if I'm using watercolor paper or shimmer white cardstock, water in your aqua painter is the way to go. If you are using glossy regular cardstock or our thick cardstock, I say rubbing alcohol is the way to go. Now you may say, Connie, that just seems nuts. Well, you know what? You actually get two pens when you purchase the aqua painter. So you could fill one with water and one with alcohol, and that way you are good to go no matter what cardstock you use. Remember, you can order those aqua painters over at simplysimplestamping.com. I hope you'll check it out, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good day, bye-bye.